going on? Did someone light a fire? Oh, it's over. They're testing the fire alarms. We have a few things to do. It is, let me see, 326. I have to feed some of the corn snakes and we're going to move the racks, kind of put them in a different position in the closet, see if that will give us a little bit more space and a little bit more room to work with. We also have to set up the podcast and be live by five o'clock. We're actually gonna do that Tuesdays at five. Time crunch. So let's get it done. Let's do it. We have to make sense of this mess that we made. We? I made. <laughs> so I am going to pull this smaller rack out up against the wall and move this one that way facing out towards the door. So then the doors are easier for us to All right, now let's distinguish which thermostat is going to that. That cup, you can throw that out. Might spray. What is the point of this excess? I kept it for some reason, but you can just cut it. Mm -hmm. Um, see tape. Um, oh fuck, where's the electrical tape that I have? Maybe that's why I didn't do it. Because you need electrical tape to keep it still. I need electrical tape to. Um, you don't necessarily need to do it, but you kind of want to put electrical tape on the ends here. To, keep to them seal down. it off. Yeah, because you know, inside there is the conductor. Doing a little cleaning while he's gone. Alright, so I did not find any electrical tape anywhere in the house. Uh, people don't do this at home. Only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey the bear. There's some on my old camel back here though. Electrical tape from Circo. 2012. Five years old, it still works. It's a little bit longer than I realized. Like, comes out. Right. Need a clean you. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it works. Not too bad, eh? Looks a little bit better than it did before. Look at that right there. Australian water python. Just some crazy iridescence off of that guy. So water pythons aren't exactly known for being docile, but once you get this girl past her feeding response, she's not too bad. Uh, still not gonna be a snake that I wanna like go near my face. So 
long as I'm not waving any fingers in front of her face or anything like that, try to uh, just try to avoid that situation, then uh, I'm pretty much golden. But just look at how beautiful this snake is. Just certainly one of the most underrated uh, Australian pythons out there. Every day you're either spot cleaning or you're feeding. I'm gonna feed the baby colubers today and uh, clean the pythons, so let's uh, feed those babies. And then tomorrow I'll spot clean them. You guys get an idea yet about how much you have to feed colubrids? I am done cleaning and feeding. So T minus 30 minutes for me to get the podcast ready and go live. <laughs> Hi. So we are now done with the podcast. Unfortunately, a bunch of things kind of went wrong and our mixer seemed to not be translating the audio correctly in the audition. So we were reading a lot hotter on audition and the audio was just sounding terrible. So we had to just go live off the computer through Facebook and through Instagram. Uh, hopefully the audio wasn't too bad. Uh, thank you everyone who listened. Um, yeah, audio is always frustrating, but we made it work. We... I was just super disappointed. Like I was so ready to uh, do the podcast and everything and I thought everything was ready to go and it just fucked up. And now I don't know like if we're gonna have to get a new mixer, we're gonna have to troubleshoot, see what's going on with this one. But the thing is, I think we always come out of the podcast feeling like... Feeling better. I feel than, invigorated. Yeah. Is that a word? That's a word. Yeah, but it was like we didn't have any mics, so we were like just talking yeah, we out there. Weird, and it we was kind of feel, weird. We come off of it feeling better. Right, it's like it's one like, of the only things that I do that it makes me feel like much more energetic after I do it. Like I think it's because we're interacting with each other, we're interacting with other, with people, other people. And I think like answering those questions and learning new things. Like I learned so much just from talking with you through right. this and talking to other people and so and we talk about and things not I need normal. To, and I, yeah. And it's all very not structured and not anything. We're just talking to random people. But if anyone like is in the comments and wants to actually like, like we'll just straight up talk to people the yeah, whole time I mean, on the podcast. Yeah, that's what we did today and it was awesome. Please yeah. ask questions, do anything. And it keeps things interesting and different people's point of view on things. Like, you know, different experiences people have had like, we had someone, we were talking about feeding, and someone who got their snake bit eaten, eaten in half by a rat that they were feeding. So, so a lot of cool I learned new things. things. I didn't know that was possible. Like, I'm all about learning more. He's the expert. I'm the not young. really an expert, though, even, okay. you know? Teacher, young grass heifer. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I like learning new things from other people, and I learned that today. And so, yeah. The podcast is a lot to teach other people about the snake business, but also to teach me, and I like it. And yeah, now it's time to walk the dog. I think so. You want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Yeah, put their collar back on. Oh. oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, we started the podcast at about 6.30, so we didn't really make that 5 o'clock. Next week, 5 o'clock. We really didn't see this whole mixer thing coming. That's why I was so frustrated. It was the first one we were going to have exactly at five o'clock, our new time where it was gonna be five o'clock every time. So I'm gonna be honest, you know, I was just so excited to get the podcast started because the podcast is so fun for us to do. And uh, quite frankly, I just had to do it in a way that I know it wasn't the best quality that I can create. I mean, I put a lot of pressure on myself to the fact that everything I put out, you know, I want it to be the best possible quality that I can create. So every video I put out, I want it to be consistent as far as quality and as far as like my effort in making it as good as I can. I know that there's going to be some experiment to it. There's going to be, you know, some changes and ups and downs, but I just wasn't expecting that with the podcast. I just need to tell myself and keep on reminding myself that perfection is the enemy of getting things done as far as if you're waiting for something to be perfect, you're never going to do anything. So I think it's more important to just consistently put things out and keep on doing your best. And if things don't go right, you know, find your way, you know, pivot. Do whatever you can to make it happen. So I, I think that the most important thing is to just get things done. So 
even if it's not perfect, even if you don't have the right things to get the best quality, do the best you can to just put something out there. It's so much better than having to write something, oh, we're not going to do the podcast this week because the mixer broke. How about you just put out a podcast and then the people who really like it really listen to it and then the people who listen to it live, you know, it doesn't really even affect them because our live recordings, our Instagram is just through our cell phone. So it's the same audio quality and quite frankly, you know, we had a lot of good comments and good conversation today just through Instagram. So the audio didn't even really come into play on that. And uh, I think you see a lot of things like videos, uh, YouTubers and podcasts to where they just stop putting it out because they think it's too difficult to put out content every so often, every week, whatever. But maybe they're just trying to make it too perfect. I don't know. Just my two cents. So I think I'm going to call it a night, going to read my book for a little bit. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. If you made it this far, you're on the team.